Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, guys. And it is 12 on the final day. Now, I didn't show the rest of this cycle because it's be really boring to watch me do it. Basically, I bought bomb chews. I don't know why. I don't really think I'm going to need because I gave you the bomb chews later. Um, Romany Chateau. Got arrows. Um, and yeah, that's it. I think that's all I got. So, and a couple fairies. So, now we're ready to deal with this the real way. We're about to see my favorite Zelda cutscene of all time. This is the most ma magic cutscene in all of Zelda, without a doubt. Now there's one song in our whole entire thing we have not played yet that we got really early in the game. That song is... The Oath of Order. What the fuck happens if you only have like three giants? Yes, guys. All four giants coming to rescue this small little land. Now, I love this cutscene. This is probably the most, probably the best Zelda cutscene. I never get tired of it. Skull Kid screaming in the background and the giants just running over there to save it. And it, it also, it's very, very beautiful. I mean, with the, the earth crumbling up and coming all the hold the moon up. Absolutely epic. It blows anything o Ocarina of Time ever had in it away for a cutscene. I, I'm not even joking. Our current time really didn't have many good cutscenes, anyways. I mean, none of the cutscenes in this game are none. All of them are enjoyable. That's what I love about this game. Every cutscene, and this is where the game. I mean, it, you you really feel the darkness running through this cutscene too. Ouch! Fucking mosquitoes, I tell you. I love how they stand there for like four minutes just watching this thing. And then the one just starts swinging his arms. And the best part is, is they have, don't even touch it. It's like they have like magic power. They're not even touching it. That's my problem with it. At the same time. They're not touching it. What the hell? <coughs> you can't physically hold up a moon like that. Now they gotta stand there the rest of their lives holding that up. Look at they're not even fucking touching it. What the hell? What a beautiful cutscene. Absolutely epic. Hands down my favorite fucking Zelda cutscene. Now here's my problem with this. It's it stopped. How the fuck? And they're supposed to stand there their whole life and hold that up. And they're not preserved either, by the way. They're moving. My 
my power, what? The ma Fuck off, Tattle. See, this is the part. People complain about this not having a final dungeon. Really, who the fuck cares? How you would think Skull Kid's the bad guy, but it happens just to be the mask. It's an enemy, a new enemy at the end of the game, pretty much. I mean, it's really twisted, this game. Everything about this game, I tell you. It, it's so weird. I shall consume. Consume everything! One of my favorite Zelda areas ever is coming up. Uh, this is one of the most ridiculously cool. It, really, going in the moon? How how much cooler can that get? And the best part is that it doesn't look like you think it would. Shut the fuck up, Tattle. What the hell else are we going to do? Try this again, Tattle? Really? The same shit's going to happen if we try it again. Yeah, please let her go. I don't always want to be running away. If I had been stronger, the skull kid wouldn't have. Yeah, this seems a little... I understand, I'll go. I'm stubborn, just like some of the... Fuck off! You're a dick. You are a fucking douche hole. I hate you. Seriously, why does Tano have to be a bitch, though? This is the weirdest area I've ever been in, in Zelda. What the hell? The moon looks like this. It has a sun in it. So. Yeah, this is the part. It's going to take a couple more videos to beat this. Now, there's going to be four kids running around wearing the remains of the bosses. And we need to talk to each of them. And give them our happy masks. So we are going to start off by simply giving them their masks they want. I'll hide. You sure fuck will hide because I'm going to come find you. Now, every one of these has got an area. Every one of them has got a heart piece. Meaning, I'm going to have another heart container. And meaning I actually did pretty damn good with a heart score. Now, as much as I hate this, to say this, my favorite of these four is the Stone Tower one. It's the most challenging, for sure. As for, um, this one's a little too easy. You gotta get on the gold flower. If it wasn't already obvious enough what you gotta do. And pop out, get a little bit higher, and there's a heart piece, another gold flower. Now, back in the flower, pop right back out, fly over to this. And now by the time you get about here, you should be running out of leverage with the kids Deku. Get in here. Um, pop out right about there before that thing hits you. And, um, we made it. We managed to do the easiest thing. Now, if you're missing any masks, um, the gossip stones in here will tell you where they are, but you have to have the mask of truth to do that. The best part is, is one of the mask, one of the stones tell you where the fuck the mask of truth is. For whatever the fuck reason. What the hell? I mean, how the... That was really thought out, Nintendo. Tell me where the Mask of Truth is. With the Gossip Stone. <coughs> now, they don't get my bunny hood until the last one. And I'm going to do Goat next, which is my least favorite of them. I don't know. I don't like Goat. Goats, it's really confusing. Uh, I've gotten infinite magic for a reason. Give me some masks for bomb and stuff. Um. 
Sorry, I was paying attention to something going on in the house. I really wasn't paying attention to the game. And I let go, just free roll, don't be pushing any, don't be touching the joystick and playing on the keyboard, don't be touching the um, arrow buttons. Now the heart piece in here is the reason I hate this. I always have to get it, and it happens to be the hardest of them all to get. Well, sort of. I want to say it's actually that hard to get, but this part is the reason it's so fucking annoying to get because you got to do up. Fuck me! God damn it! And every time you fail, you end up back here to do this shit again. You've been already done it enough. Love how the treasure chest are already open. What the hell was in there? Heart pieces? Because that would be beautiful right now. So yes, you should have 19 heart containers before you come up here. Don't ever do it like I just was plant trying to do it. I always cross the bridge. Because then you speed up and then it feels like fucking pinball. Never once gotten it that way. However... <laughs> I hate this heart piece. I'm probably gonna have to off screen it. Oh, yeah, why don't I have my phone out? Fuck it, me. God damn it. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck your mother. I already got one of them, might as well just get it now. Let's do this. I have a good feeling this time. Oh, I have a really good feeling this time. Come on. See, that's why you don't do it. That turn is very awkward. I'm not saying the one up here isn't, but I have a good feeling about this time. I don't know why. I have a good feeling that I'm probably going to fall down, but... I don't know which one of the Gossip Stones tells you it has Mask of Truth, but I know it's not in the Snowhead one. And the one with the kids wearing... I obviously did not have a good feeling about this. Alright. I am going to off-screen that part, that jump, so I will be back next video. Bye.